Now, friends, in climatology, see, in the topic of winds, winds has a huge effect on the climate of any region. Winds has, okay. Now, among these winds, we divide them into primary winds. In climatology, winds are an, winds is an important topic because winds has huge effect on any regional climate. Among the winds, we divide them as primary winds, secondary winds, and tertiary. Instead of tertiary, some people write local winds. Now, primary winds are most important winds that occur throughout the world. Throughout the world, they are also called as permanent winds. Permanent. They mostly do not vary. They are almost constant throughout the world. Almost. So they are called as invariable winds. Invariable means they do not vary. Almost. These winds I have discussed already. They are planetary winds. I am talking about planetary winds. Planetary winds broadly, you know, either in the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere, there are three types. Uh, trade winds, westerlies, polar easterlies are the three winds. All the three occur throughout the world. That's why they are called as planetary winds throughout the world. Invariable because they generally do not vary. Permanent because they will be there in all seasons. They are not seasonal winds. So these are one type of winds which I have covered. These are the most important winds I have covered it already. Now coming to the secondary winds. Secondary winds are seasonal winds. Seasonal. They occur in some seasons. Example, monsoon winds. Monsoon. Monsoon winds. Even cyclones. Cyclones are seasonal. They don't occur throughout the year. So these two come under secondary winds. Secondary. Cyclones, both tropical cyclone and a temperate cyclone i have covered both tropical and temperate cyclone monsoon winds i have to still cover monsoon are very important because the entire south asia even some parts of usa some part of china also are affected by this kind of climate monsoon climate monsoon means seasonal reversal of winds seasonal reversal that means in one season they blow in one direction in other season they blow other direction for example if you take india we take India from June, June, July, August, September, October. These five months, winds blow in the winds come from the southwest, called as southwest monsoon. From again November, December, January, February, March, April, those day, those times, winds come from northeast. We call them as northeast monsoon. So I will discuss about that. Actually, southwest monsoon, northeast monsoon has huge impact on the Indian agriculture, Indian economy. Okay, Indian industries, the, the culture of India, the life of people of India. For example, there was a question once, how does monsoon affect the economy and culture of India? Both we should discuss. Okay, And on monsoon, in prelims, the questions will be different. Questions will be like, which of the following places will first get the monsoon? Monsoon will not come throughout in the same day. First, Andamanikovar, then the Kerala, then Karnataka, it comes in order. Also, in monsoon, there are some small, small concepts. I mean, what is a trough? Monsoon, uh, which, which region has more uh, rainfall during monsoon, which is less rainfall. In India, some places do not get rainfall even during the monsoon. In India, which places will get rainfall during northeast monsoon, which will get south, the, all these questions will be addressed in the monsoon class. Okay? Today, I will discuss about the tertiary winds. Friends, tertiary winds are, they are very local in the nature, very local. Local in the nature. Uh, for example, Friends, uh, sea breeze along the sea, throughout the world, wherever ocean is there, along the ocean, there will be sea breeze and land breeze. I mean, wherever ocean is there, in a day, for some time, wind will come from the sea, we call sea breeze. For some time, wind will come from the land, called land breeze. Sea breeze, land breeze, they keep on moving throughout the day. We will discuss now about them. Then also, mountain and valley breeze. Mountain and valley breeze. Wherever mountain is there, for example, the mountain, for some time of a day, winds will come from the mountain. We call them as mountain winds, mountain breeze. For some time of the day, winds will go from the valley. So, mountain or valley breeze we will discuss. Similarly, globally, in Africa, some places, some places in India, Delhi, some places of South Asia, some places of, in different countries, there are some local winds. Those winds occur only in that particular area. 
but there are thousands of such winds we cannot study all those winds so what we'll do is for upsc in various books they have given only six to seven very important winds why they gave only those winds because they're interesting winds they have inter interesting uh, character characters interesting qualities for example sirocco or foin chinook blizzard bora in india lu kal baishaki there are some winds like that so we'll study hardly some eight to nine types of winds not types eight to nine local winds they are enough for the ups examination so we will study such kind of local winds so today's class i will discuss these two and also some important local winds with that we will finish the class in my next class i will discuss monsoon with that we would be finishing the entire winds topic of climatology of geography your physical geography okay <coughs> friends first let us discuss what is sea breeze or land breeze see for example this is a coastal area of india coast area of india this is visakhapatnam let's say example now i will draw the land and ocean this is a land this is a ocean the ocean you are on the beach you are standing on the beach now you study if you close your eyes in the beach you can you can clearly understand whether the wind is coming from the sea or from the land let us understand why sometimes wind come from the land sometimes from the sea why what is the reason behind that and what are the effects of that friend i already told you previously why land gets heated quickly than the water how many of you are not there in the class i told you that for example when sunrise fall on the land and sunrise fall on the water land gets heated quickly than the water why because water no whatever heat is coming in the water some energy will be released in the form of evaporation but whatever uh, sunrise falling on the land water heat is coming onto the land that heat will not go out it will stay there only but water some heat will go out as evaporation that's why they get heated slowly second thing whatever heat is coming onto the water that heat will not stay there it will be dissipated because water keeps on moving so heat heat will be distributed that's why it cannot become hot quickly whereas in land when heat comes from that part of the land cannot go anywhere it has stay there only that's why because of the movement of the water it gets heated slowly third reason you can tell is the specific heat specific heat for example if you take uh, aluminum and take iron you supply some for example take aluminum take iron supply some heat by fire the heat may be supply 1 joule of heat here 1 joule of heat here for example let us say both of them are at same temperature 23 degree centigrade 23 degree centigrade now when you supply 1 joule of heat aluminum may come 25 but iron may come 24 only you take same you take same uh, weight 1 gram of iron 1 gram of aluminum give heat to that give some heat to that both of them will not uh, 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 change temper in same way some bodies become hot quickly some become hot slowly that's called specific heat so for the water specific heat is more same sun rays are falling on land water but water takes more heat to become uh, to rise in temperature that's why water becomes hot slowly It's third reason fourth reason you can say is whatever sun rays are falling in water no they will go deep into the water almost 200 meters but land they cannot go deep they have to stay there only so for example the sun ray is going this much depth so the sun ray has to heat this much water it is so much water but land it falls there only it has to heat only this much of land so obviously he uh, land gets heated quickly there are the four reasons we can tell because of which land gets heated land gets heated quickly than the water same four reasons you can tell for land gets cooler quickly than the water means in the in the day time when sun rays are falling land becomes hot quickly in the night time also when sun is not there any hot body will release the radiation they will become cool that land releases quickly 
water takes more time because water depth is there no? all the heat has to go out. it takes more time so if you understand these two concepts very clearly then you can understand sea breeze land breeze very easily how see this is land this is the ocean in the daytime sun rises at say 7 am or 6 am from 7 am sun rays are falling on the land water almost by 2 pm almost some after some 6 to 7 hours of uh, sun rays land becomes very hot maybe 35 degrees but water reaches only 20 degrees or 25 degrees so almost by afternoon 2 pm 2 pm land is very hot so hot body is tell me pressure very high pressure land or water high pressure water. very good here high pressure will be there because it's very hot pressure is low because when it's hot no all the air becomes very warm lightweight it will go out so pressure will be reduced so low pressure at 2 pm i'm talking about 2 pm to almost say 7 pm from 2 pm to 7 pm land is very hot 2 pm to not 7 pm 8 pm 9 pm 10 pm also depends on season summer season is hot till night 10 11 also so now wind, winds always blow from high to low low to high winds high to high to so winds will blow from like this winds will blow from high to low this is called sea breeze so sea breeze so sea breeze occurs in the afternoons and evenings sea breeze why because high pressure in the ocean why because ocean is cooler why because ocean gets heated slowly now as i told you many times at the low pressure area winds will rise up i mean at the i mean i mean to say at when it's hot high temperature hot the the air because hot rises up rises up and here it comes like this comes down even in the planetary winds class also planetary winds i told you if you take earth if this is equator low pressure belt if this is subtropical high pressure if this is polar no sorry subpolar subpolar low pressure if this is polar high pressure i told you at equator winds will rise up from high pressure to low pressure winds will come like this high to low it rise up and comes back again falls down the wind comes down subsides here also high pressure to low pressure winds will move here winds will rise up then they'll move in this direction again come down so if you observe in atmosphere in the lower atmosphere where we are staying if winds are blowing in this direction in the higher atmosphere they blow in the that's the fundamental concept anywhere throughout the winds anywhere in the world winds always do like the only. so here also as winds come here they rise up they come and they come down so now as a human being as you are staying here i mean general not human being anybody on the land only feel this wind nobody feels this wind this wind will felt by the aeroplanes maybe so sea breeze occurs from 2 pm to almost 9 9 10 whatever sea breeze now let us come to land breeze that's why in the beaches most of us go to beach in the night time not night time evening most of us go to beach at 5 pm 6 pm 7 pm why because at 5 6 7 pm when you go to the beach at 4 pm the land is very hot to escape from the heat you go to the beach when you go to the beach winds come from the ocean and ocean winds are which temperature 25 degree on the see on the land it is very hot 35 degree but when you go to the beach you get uh, winds from the sea which is 25 so you're getting cool breeze that's why you go to the beach why do you go to the beach because in the evenings you get cool wind for the cool wind you go to the beach right okay now so friends now let's come to the night time see Now observe land and sea. Now at almost at 7 pm or 8 pm in the night, not 8 pm, 7 pm, 6 pm, there won't be any sun rays. Sun rays will stop because sun, sun would have already moved away from the place. Sun, sun will stay above a place only from 6 am to 6 pm. No, after there is no sun rays, right? So right from 6 pm to early morning 2 am or 3 am almost in some uh, 7 to 8 hours in the time land will become cool water also becomes cool both of them release the radiation cool 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 which becomes cooler quickly 
land. So land reaches maybe 20 degrees, but ocean does not become cool easily. Ocean is still 30 degrees only. Now, which is high pressure? High pressure. Land. Yes, land is very cool at high pressure. Ocean is low pressure. Now, wind will, wind will blow from? Yes. So that's why early mornings, if you go at 3 a.m., 4 a.m., 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m., mornings, in the morning, if you go to the beach, always you find land breeze only, land breeze. The breeze moves from land to the ocean. Here it rises up, comes like this, again goes. Okay? So this is the concept of land breeze and sea breeze. Hello? Name me Koka, Pog and Lafunja Sar and class loan. Just say, actually, see the planetary winds, local winds, monsoon winds, all of them will fight with each other, they are interrelated. In some places, when monsoon winds are so strong, the planet compared to planetary winds, they will dominate. Sometimes, when local winds are so strong than the planetary winds in that region. Plant, plant winds effect will be vanished. Local winds will dominate them. Understand? Just like, for example, when you eat two different things, something is sweet, something is hot. If hot is more, sweet will completely vanish. Like that. If sweet is more, it will vanish. Similarly, there are different kinds of winds that come to interplay. In a region, many winds will fight. But whichever wind is stronger, it, it uh, overplays all other things. Okay? Which one? No, actually see, yes, yeah, see what you said is correct. Strength of the wind depends on temperature mostly. But sometimes what happens, you know, sometimes there is a concept called air mass. I heard she'll tell, tell you about that. Air mass. Air mass means what do you know? For example, in a place you are staying in India. Let us say from somewhere a huge amount of uh, air. I told you sometime back, lot of air. Several kilometers, yeah. If that huge amount of air extended several thousands of kilometers, height some tens of kilometers, maybe five kilometers. If it starts coming from a region, it starts coming, nobody can stop it. When the wind comes, you know, all the local winds, all the uh, planetary winds, they'll, they'll be completely vanished. At the time, temperature, nothing will be there. For example, this place may be 30 degrees. This is 40 degrees. No, this is 40, this is 30. We expect wind like this, you know. When the air mass comes, you know, it completely wipes away everything. Understand? Okay. Now, but most, other than air mass, mostly temp the winds depend on temperature only. Winds always because temperature only. Okay? If, if they ask you which of the following is the major reason for winds, temperature difference. Means not temperature difference, pressure difference, but pressure difference because temperature difference. Okay? Okay. Friend, don't tell own temperature. Pressure also. Pressure also. Okay? I mean, even the planetary winds also. Observe planetary winds, for example, in the planetary winds, for the equator is the low pressure area. Subtropical is the high pressure area. Subpolar is the low pressure. But observe carefully, in subpolar, what is temperature? 20 degrees. Subtropical? 30 degrees. High temperature? No. It's low, temp it's low temperature? No. But still see, this is low pressure, high pressure. Winds will move like this. If you follow pure temperature, no, winds have to blow like this. No. So, so, but here winds have to this way. Why? Because compared temperature there, the rotation of earth has played a major role. The dynamic factors has, over, has overplayed the thermal factors. That's why for wind, thermal is thermal means temperature. For winds, thermal is an important factor, but not the only factor. Sometimes other factors will overplay it. Okay. Okay, friends now I discussed about the sea breeze land breeze. You should understand that uh, sea breeze generally occurs in the evenings and nights and land occurs in the early mornings and the afternoons. Okay. Now, let us come to same concept you can apply for mountain breeze, valley breeze. Same concept. Mountain valley breeze. Mountain and valley breeze, same concept. Right, this is a mountain. Again, this is a mountain. This is valley. We call this as valley. This is mountain. People generally stay in the valleys only. Nobody stays on top of mountain. 
very rarely okay most valleys agriculture cultivation everything most of the cultivate coffee here coffee or tea they cultivate here they won't cultivate here okay that's why mountain breeze valley breeze has, has effect on the coffee cultivation tea cultivation okay anyhow now friends see same concepts in the daytime at 6 am sun appears okay on the in the east and sunrise start falling and sunrays fall both on both on the mountain valley also but the mountain has less vegetation than the valley also mountain is more exposed exposed to sunlight than valley also mountain is more rocky than valley because of which the mountain becomes hot quickly by almost 2 pm in the afternoon 2 pm the mountain becomes very hot 4 degree valley will be 30 degree only or 30 35 36 and these are rough numbers friend not exact numbers i'm telling mountain will be hotter than the valley by the time it is after 2 pm 3 pm so what happens tell me ajay uh, high pressure will be there where high pressure valley mountain high pressure high pressure will be in the valley or mountain very good high pressure in the valley low pressure because high temperature no low pressure now so winds will move like this from 2 pm or 2 3 4 5 6 pm so the evenings at 5 pm 6 pm if you want to get the cool wind no you climb the mountain stay on the mountain the evenings you will get cool wind from the valley this is called valley breeze this is called valley breeze valley breeze flows from the valley to the mountain in the late afternoons and la- uh, late afternoons and evenings now again the night time same concept in the night time almost from 7 pm slowly the va- the mountain will release the heat valley release the heat they become cool 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 gradually what happens you know the valley the, the heat in the valley cannot go out so easily because it's trapped from all sides whereas the mountain heat can escape very easily so mountain becomes by the morning 3 am 4 am mountain becomes very cool mount almost reaches temperature of say some 20 degrees whereas valley is still 25 degrees so now wind will move from because it has high pressure low temperature no high pressure this is low pressure so this is called mountain breeze mountain breeze means coming from the mountain it happens in the early mornings till early afternoons early morning till early afternoon you get the mountain breeze okay and actually these winds help in the cultivation of coffee whatever because coffee this uh, some other uh, crops in the mountain slopes in the valley slopes they cannot grow at high temperature so in the morning time general temperature increases no but because of these winds they keep temperature low in the valley also because the cool winds so it's very useful for cultivation of crops on the valley slopes or mountain slopes valley breeze mountain breeze plays a very important role in agriculture on the Uh, valley sides mountain slopes or valley sides okay now friends actually these winds you know they are very powerful winds because in the in the night time no mountain becomes very cool friend not only because of the uh, dissipation of heat general high altitude no high altitude no so it's very cool correct point high altitude so it's very cool 15 degrees also so that's why heavy actually friends cool winds are heavy warm winds are light weight so heavy wind that to gravity they are acting on the gravity see fall like this compared to these winds these winds are more powerful they flow like water what is drainage drainage means not, not this drainage this is a wrong idea of drainage drainage means flow of water that's all drainage means for example explain indian drainage system is a question of geography you should not explain the all the municipality drainage and all things drainage means river river flow okay drainage is the flow of stream or river now this is called air drainage means air is moving like water heavy wind air drainage is also called as catabatic wind catabatic wind <coughs> catabatic wind or air drainage uh, in the early mornings in the mountain areas mountain valley areas okay <coughs> now let us discuss Now let's come to the local winds. We will discuss important, interesting local winds. Local winds. Let us start with Africa. In Africa, there are two very interesting and important local winds. One is Sirocco. Other thing is Haramatan. 
both in Africa, Sirocco, Harmattan. These are two very important winds in Africa, which will be which are discussed in all the most most of the UPSC books. Okay, friends, for example, take Africa, Saudi Arabia. Here, India is there somewhere. Here, Mediterranean Sea, and then Europe. This is Europe. This is Mediterranean Sea. First, let us discuss about Harmattan. Friends, Harmattan, Harmattan is also called as doctor. Why it's called doctor? Doctor means anybody who cures a disease, anybody who treats a disease, cures a disease. So Harmattan wind actually cures some of these skin problems. How? Let us see. Friends, in Western Africa here, here in Western Africa, see Africa means high temperature. That too tropical. This is tropical equator, no? This is equator, friend. Equator high temperature is there. High temperature means in the ocean, this is the ocean, right? In the ocean, when temperature is very high, evaporation will be high. High evaporation. When evaporation is very high, in the atmosphere, the humidity will be high. High humidity, high water vapor. Friends, for example, if you are in Chennai or Hyderabad, if you are in Chennai, when you are running, when your body sweats, no, the sweat will stay on the skin only. But in Hyderabad, when you are running, in Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, when the sweat comes, you know, the air, the atmosphere, the air, the air does not have enough water vapor. So it will absorb your, absorb your sweat. And again, there is no sweat. Again, sweat will come. Again, finally, you will die out of dehydration. Because completely water comes, keeps coming. When in Chennai, Vishakhapatnam, what happens is, once sweat comes, you know, it will stay. So further sweat will not come. Why it will stay? Because the air already has enough water vapor. It cannot take more, like a sponge. A sponge which already has a lot of water in that, if you again pour some water, it cannot take it. Similarly, in Western Africa, humidity is very high. Humidity very high. Friends, whenever humidity is very high, you know, you will get skin problems. Skin disease will come naturally. Okay. So people in this area, particularly in the month of May, June, summer season. So high humidity summer season. And also summer season generally you will sweat no, you will sweat more. Sweat is not going away. All sweat will stay here only. Because that, you know, the, the, sometimes in Chennai you can see salt. Salt will also be uh, formed on surface of the body because sweat. Now, so people here uh, keep getting skin diseases. So when you get skin diseases, you have to go to hospital now. But they will wait for Harmattan. Because Harmattan, Harmattan is a wind that blows from east of Africa to west of Africa like this. Now friend, this wind comes from where? Sahara Desert. This is all Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert. A wind coming from Sahara Desert, do you think it will have humidity or no humidity? No, no humidity. Complete dry wind. It comes dry wind. So people stand for Armada like this. When dry wind comes, you know, the atmosphere of this place will change. Normally, this place has high humidity. But this wind, when it comes here, you know, this wind will eat all humidity. Dry wind, you no. Know. It will take away everything. So the area becomes very low humid area. Humidity falls down. Because of low humidity, whatever skin problems were there, they will start disappearing gradually. But sometimes you have to take medicines, but generally they will reduce it. That's why they call Harmattan as a doctor. But friends, everything has not only good but also bad. It has its own bad things, disadvantages. The disadvantage is sometimes it is so strong, it brings a lot of sand. Dust will come from the desert. So dust storms will dust storms, which are harmful. It's harmful. So both are there. It can be a doctor, but still it's harmful. Some doctors are harmful. Okay? Now friends, now let us come to the next wind. Next variety of wind. Let me take the red color pen. Yeah, let's see. Now in Africa, Sirocco. Sirocco is also called as blood rain. That's why I took red color. That is the reason, red color. Blood rain. Why Sirocco is called blood rain? Friends, every wind is named after its property. The property is that because of Sirocco wind, no, in the Europe here, here in Europe, Sirocco comes from Africa only. Sirocco from Africa only, but it causes rainfall in Europe, Southern Europe. In this rainfall, blood will come. Along with the rain, what will come? Blood. Not blood, red color thing will come. People call it blood. Okay. How, how it comes? Let us see. 
Friend, the Sirocco comes from what is this place? This is Sahara Desert. So, wind is blowing from where? Desert. So, the wind carries a lot of fine red color dust particles, sand particles present in the desert. Friend, in the desert, desert sand, all the sand grains are not very small. This is grading. Some sand grains are heavy, some are medium. So, only the light, light weight sand will be taken by the Sirocco. And while, tra see, while traveling through desert, it will carry dust, radical dust. While, carry, while tra tra traveling through Mediterranean Sea, it will carry humidity, water vapor. After taking water vapor and dust, it goes to Europe. By the time it reaches Europe, it has enough water vapor, enough dust also. Now, when you go to Europe, Alps, the mountains will come. Name of mountain, Alps. So, the Alps mountains will come. When they climb the Alps mountains, when they climb the Alps mountains, they will cool. Because as, as the winds go up, they will cool now. As they cool, all the water vapor undergoes condensation into water. Clouds will form. These clouds will have a lot of dust particles. So, heavy clouds, they rain. When they rain, dust particles also come along with the rain. That's why they call it blood rain. That's what is called as blood rain. So, Sirocco is blood rain, Harmada's doctor. These are two very important winds in Africa. Now, let us move to uh, USA. Discuss some winds in USA. <coughs> let me take blue pen. USA means blue color. No? Okay. Okay, friends, now the South America, Central America, North America, Alaska, Alaska, okay. <coughs> now, friends, listen carefully. Here, there is ocean. And here, what are the mountains here, friend? No, no, Rockies. Andes means here, see. If you take South America, no? South America has got Andes. North America has got? Okay. Friend, this pen is like uh, vomiting. So, I will take radical black pen only. Now, friends, in the, in the, you know, late winter, see, entire Northern Hemisphere, not only India, friends, the entire northern hemisphere will have summer season from May to October. Winter season from November to February. March, April, slowly the heat comes. The entire uh, northern hemisphere. US is also like India only, northern hemisphere. Australia is different, opposite Australia. Southern hemisphere now. Now, friends, in the month of February, February, see generally India also, February last week still it is, it is cold only. Only in the month of March, slowly temperature rises. So, it is in Rocky Mountain, this Rocky Mountain is like this. Rocky Mountain, you may be knowing in winter season there is snowfall in the higher mountains. In USA, particular snowfall is more. So there are there is snowfall here. When the snow falls from November, December, January, February, as snow keeps on falling, it becomes like an ice sheet. So entire mountain side is covered by ice sheet will be covering the mountains, ice sheet. Okay? Because of which here, see, here there are a lot of villages. In the rocky mountain, the valley is there, no? Their villages are there. On the mountain, foothill, foothill. In the villages, pastoralists will stay. Who are pastoralists? Who raise their animals? Animal ranching. Cattle, cattle rearing. Cattle rearing. First, these cattle rearers, no? They cannot, go, they cannot go into New York and go for cattle, uh, grass. They have to only climb the mountains for the grass. So, generally mountain slopes are not used for economic development, industry, nothing will be there. Agriculture is not the agriculture, they, left, they just leave it like that. So, their grass will be there, pastures, green pastures. Now, these green pastures are very important for economy, why? Cattle rearing, for cattle rearing. Now, these green pasture, pastures are completely closed in the November, December, January, February, March also they close, almost April they will open. But, but in the month of March first week or February last week, when it is still very cool, everywhere it is cool, see, everywhere it is very cool, at the time some winds will come from the ocean. Tell me, 
which is cooler land or ocean in winter season land is cooler because land gets cool quickly ocean is warm ocean is warm so winds coming from the ocean are they warm or no warm so now listen carefully friends warm winds which come from the ocean they come from the ocean no after hitting the mountain they will rise when they rise they will become cool when they become cool water will will be condensed into clouds clouds will form clouds will cause rainfall here these winds when they come here is there still water vapor or all water over over as the winds are rising up rising up rising up rising up all the water vapor will be converted into clouds and now this will become dry they become dry winds when dry winds come like this friends also remember when winds are rising up they will be cooled when coming down they will be heated this is a very important concept in physics we call it as adia adiabatic friend when the winds know when they expand they cool adiabatically when the winds are compressed they they are heat heat adiabatically adiabatic adiabatic means what adiabatic means change in temperature without any external reason any system is there a system without any for example if somebody is uh, heating example, we put a fire and heat it then it's not called adiabatic heating it's heating externally if the system cools by itself it is adiabatic heating adiabatic cooling so the wind which is rising no nobody is cooling it from outside the wind only rising up cooling 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 when the wind is coming down compressed and heated up so now friends actually you may be knowing in india also india this is um, kerala for example this india friend in india take western ghats western ghats all this mangaluru kerala goa all this place have very good rainfall but telangana royal seema eastern karnataka eastern karnataka bellary no rainfall bellary no rainfall no royal seema no rainfall no telangana less than why why because friends this western ghats mountains are there no western ghats mountains as winds come from here from ocean the winds will rise like this no they form clouds all the rainfall occurs in the west only when the same winds go to the east no there is no water vapor and also they become very hot so hot air without any water vapor will be arid it will not give rainfall in fact if some water body is there it will heat the water heat the all the water okay so for this mountain this side is called leeward side what do you call it as this side is called windward side windward <coughs> windward means the wind is coming from that side leeward means opposite side <coughs> windward and leeward <coughs> also you can write down this leeward side is also called as rain shadow region this leeward is called as rain shadow region friends rain shadow region or leeward side is a site in which the hot and dry winds come from the mountain they can never cause rainfall in fact they will even eat away or consume the water bodies there if some lake is there means it will evaporate okay that's why telangana royal seema ballari of karnataka even maharashtra also western maharashtra has good rainfall but eastern maharashtra vidarbha vidarbha has less rainfall that's why vidarbha they want separate states okay similarly um, uh, tamil nadu tamil nadu dharmapuri dharmapuri has less rainfall water falls that's why less rainfall okay but see again coastal areas have more rainfall coastal area coast andhra pradesh they have good rainfall because of the wind from this side okay anyhow friends same concept is here also as the winds come from the uh, pacific ocean they rise up now see they cross the rockies they cross rockies and when they come here what happens to all the ice the ice will be melted because dry hot winds when the ice is melted the green pastures will be open at the time all the remaining see the all the remaining places are very cool all are cool but only this is uh, this is melted why because hot winds are coming suddenly the the pastoralists will be waiting till april they want to wait but in february itself the wind has come pass are open so now they are getting extra one month of extra month for cattle rearing that's why economically this wind is very important the name of the wind is chinook 
the name of the wind is Chinook. Some people call Chinook as snow eater. Some people call Chinook as snow eater. Why? Why you call snow eater? It eats all the snow. Okay. So if the question is, uh, is Chinook economically important for USA? Yes. It will help in cattle ranching or animal rearing. Animal rearing. Okay. And same Chinook type, same Chinook type of wind, similar wind, you can find in Switzerland also. In Switzerland, in Switzerland also, same type of wind you can find. I'll tell you how. You take Africa here, Mediterranean Sea, this is Europe, this is Alps, Alps. <coughs> okay? Sim just like in USA, the winds blow like this to the Alps. That side of the Alps, Switzerland is there. Switzerland, Switzerland. Okay. Now, you take Alps. Alps mountain. Winds are coming from Mediterranean Sea. When they rise up, here they call the rainfall. It can be blood rain, water rain. I told blood rain. No, blood rain happens on this side. It happens on this side of the mountain. But when the wind goes to this side, it will become dry and hot. Now Switzerland is here. Now, in the, in the month of January, February, March, the entire southern Europe is very cool, full of snowfall, ice will be there. In the month of February, those months, full snowfall will be there. But at the time, in Switzerland, these winds will come. These winds are called as foin. Foin. Just like Chinook only, they come from the ocean, they rise up. When they come down, while coming down, they are dry and uh, dry and hot. Now, because of that, in the Switzerland, the snowfall reduces, no snowfall. It becomes slightly warm. It is very pleasant. Friend, when everything is very cool, you are shivering, and then suddenly warm wind comes, you feel very pleasant. Okay? So, that's why Switzerland, during the time of fawn, it is called as climatic oasis. Climatic oasis. Friends, climatic oasis, the term, what is oasis when everywhere desert is there, center some water is, you feel very happy for the water. Similarly, when everywhere the climate is very cool, everybody shivering, at a place, small place, if it is warm, it is called oasis, no? Climatic oasis, not the desert oasis. So, foin is called as climatic oasis. We actually, now let us see. <coughs> now let us see how it helps in economics, e economy. Always you have to relate everything to economy, friend, because economic development is very important for anything. For any, see, no wind will become famous if it is just a wind. If it has economic importance or some health impact or social impact, some impact should be there. That's why out of thousands of winds, we are selecting only few winds. Okay? The economic importance is it will encourage tourism in Switzerland. Generally, in the February, January season, tourism people will not come. Extremely cool areas. Who will come for tourism? But in Switzerland, it's very, at the time, it's slightly warm. So, people will try to come to Switzerland. All the people surrounding areas come to Switzerland for tourism. Because tourism always, friends, always tourism will be uh, improved in a place where the climate is very conducive, conducive climate. That's why tourism. That's why foreign is big, foreign has become very famous economically also economic development also now let us friends let us discuss about now the the winds which are having negative impact the chinook foyan and positive impact harmattan positive sirako nothing positive sirako is interesting red color rain now it does no other impact let us now let us come to negative impact winds huge negative impact winds okay <coughs> So here, friends, the cold winds are either heat wave or cold wave are all harmful. Heat wave means in India, in South India, you might have heard about Rajasthan, Hyderabad heat wave. In the month of May, generally the definition of heat wave is definition of heat wave is high temperatures, abnormally high temperatures. If they persist for a long time, almost 10 days, 12 days, very high temperature. That's called heat wave. Heat wave means don't think a wave is coming. Heat, heat wave. 
heat wave means some 10 to 12 days or 15 days abnormal high temperatures persist see if high temperature comes to single day it's not heat wave so 10 days heat wave during heat wave government has to take extreme care because roadside vendors construction laborers or shelterless people who sleep outside who roam beggars the day many people die actually heat wave similarly cold wave for example cold wave is same cold wave means for some 10 to 15 days 2 to 3 weeks extremely cool temperature will be there very cool temperature people die in delhi also in november january people die the roadside dwellers people uh, they sleep on the streets you know, right if you walk in vijayawada many people sleep on the street in the footpaths because they don't have home we call as shelterless people homeless people in delhi there are more because delhi is city people come from bihar up jharkhand also they go there to work after work they will earn some money send it to the home but they do, they, they do not have any houses any homes they stay on the uh, roadside only in the summer summer season also they die winter also they die every season they will die basically basically they will die okay in winter season because of cold wave most of them die and government did not could not take enough steps for that that's why supreme court not supreme court delhi high court delhi high court once gave a judgment some three years ago that it is responsibility of the state government delhi government not central government to construct homes for the shelterless people government says that see it's impossible we are asking these people not to come to delhi because those many migrant labors from different states how can we accommodate them delhi is a small place you know but supreme court says that, see you try your best to stop them but once they come you have to provide shelter government says that if you provide shelter they'll come more this is a discussion this is a very ever discussion now here uh, this particular high court judgment has been called as judicial activism friend this is slightly one minute of polity little polity i will discuss judicial activism friend generally for a country to run properly there should be separation of powers between legislature executive judiciary in india legislature executive are integrated for example the all the ministers ministers prime minister chief minister ministers who are executive all ministers are members of legislature overlap is there similarly once upon a time the collector district collector who is executive has judicial powers also he used to have judicial powers previously now it's reduced reduced because of article 50 50 very good article 50 article 50 of dpsp uh, asked the government to separate the powers between judicial executive because executive will execute certain policies and if they become judiciary they will become their own judges i will do some some i will do some uh, uh, i will execute something in the district and i i am the person who take decision on that if it comes somebody complains on that action they have come to me only then how, then how can i give justice how can i maintain neutrality that's why separation of powers is very important even in the french in history also in french revolution there are three famous people you study about french revolution all history there montesquieu a person called montesquieu said that strict separation of powers are essential for any uh, country to have pure proper democracy liberty and for growth also for example in france executive is the king judge is also the king judge legislature is also king only everything is king only which should be separated montesquieu said okay anyhow now judicial activism means when judiciary interferes in the executive when judiciary tells executive what to, you have to do like this you should do like this judiciary is not right like this only legislature can make the acts executive will follow the acts judiciary has to ensure acts are followed if already one policy is there judiciary should see that it is implemented judiciary cannot ask government to form new policies so this roadside vendor street dwellers judicial activism you can actually quote this example judicial activism another example is once delhi high court said that or supreme court i don't remember said that lot of food grains in india are kept in the godowns by government to use it for disasters when disaster comes during the war emergency they, they stock it but there are many people in india dying with out of hunger supreme court says, says that you have to give that to the poor people because they're dying but the government says that see if you give to poor people okay during the war or emergency or disaster where will you get the food grains from there is an everlasting discussion so this kind of things we call as judiciary involving in the executive affairs okay in fact okay anyhow let's go on my friend friends the heat wave or cold wave now coming to the why i'm discussing about heat wave cold wave the reason is globally there are some winds which are called which create cold waves the winds are for example if you take uh, south america leave it central america 
North America, even the leave Africa, go to Russia, Siberia, Saudi Arabia, India. Friends, for example, Siberia. This is Siberia. This is Canada. Canada, this is Alaska, USA only. Alaska, USA. So, USA, Canada, Siberia. Now, friends, in the winter season, these, these places become extremely cool, very cool. So, pressure will be high pressure. Because high pressure, the winds will come out. Any place, the pressure is very high. If at any place, pressure is very high, winds will go out of the place. So, winds will start traveling here like this. Okay? Here it is called Bora. Here it is called Blizzard. Blizzard here, here Bora. Both are same only. Bora or Blizzard, they are the extremely... Uh, cold uh, winds that they come from north either Siberia or Alaska or northern Canada they come when they come they bring a lot of snow or ice extremely cool they are extremely cool they come and attack these parts of USA or they attack Mongolia or northern China they attack when they come uh, they, they travel for almost like uh, one month or three weeks those three weeks temperature is extremely cool suddenly temperature will change till the winds come now people will be happy playing suddenly cool winds come temperature falls from 20 degrees to 0 degrees suddenly extremely cool it will stay like that for some two three weeks till the winds go away so during the time many people die it has very need to impact actually they, they are the, from siberia siberia is a very large area friend these winds can travel till here actually but who is stopping them himalayas, himalayas. Himalayas stop them. Without Himalayas, the Jammu Kashmir or Northern India will come under the effect of Bora or the extremely cool winds from the Siberia. Siberian, better called as Siberian cold waves. Cold waves, okay. So this blizzard and Bora are also important. Lo they are local winds. Local. They are all in this area. Local. Okay. Friends like that, Sirako, Haramatan, Foyan, Chinook, Bora, Blizzard, these are some interesting and important uh, local events that you should learn. Now, in India, India also, but in India also, in Delhi, there is a wind called Lu. It comes in the month of May. Why? Because friends, in the month of May, I might have discussed in your class about the urban concrete jungle. I told that concrete jungle, urban heat island. In urban areas, the heat is so high because of the concrete jungle. In the month of May, in summer season, Delhi becomes extremely hot compared to surroundings. It is so hot, it has very low pressure. High temperature means low pressure. So winds will come from all places winds will come. Rajasthan, Haryana, and these winds Actually, when they come to, particularly winds coming from Rajasthan, no, Rajasthan, they bring a lot of sand. So, it causes dust storms. What? Dust storms. So, Lu, Lu is a local wind of Delhi, not only Delhi, around surrounding areas. Lu, local wind that, that uh, occurs in April ending or May, May, during the May. Again, June will not be there. Again, June, July, slowly it will stop because of uh, rainfall. Because um, monsoon comes to Delhi, by almost July ending, it comes to Delhi. Okay, so friends, Lou is a local in Delhi. It causes dust storms. It also causes heat wave. It is also dangerous. Okay, dust is dangerous. Temperature is also dangerous. Both are dangerous. Friends, I should I, I will discuss in next class about. See, this is not the local wind, but local rainfall. For example, have you heard mango showers? Mango showers or coffee showers? Coffee shower, mango shower, shower means rain. Why? Because, see, actually in India, monsoon season starts from June. From June, rainfall will start. But in the May and April, there will be some rainfall. Not monsoon rain, convectional rain. Convectional rain means the monsoon winds do not come, but during the May, earth becomes very hot, hot air rises up, water, evaporation, condensation, cloud formation, rainfall. So this April and May, April, May, these rainfalls occur before the monsoon season. The monsoon season starts in June, but before it occurs now. So these are called convectional rainfall. Convection means when the land is very hot, the heat transfers by convection. The convectional heat forms the, the water vapor forms clouds and rainfall will be there. 
this convectional wind, uh, rainfall helps in coffee and mango mango cultivation starts in india in april may and may only mangoes but may how can you grow mango in may where is rainfall rainfall comes because of convection so it is called mango shower in coffee also in karnataka coffee other place mango mango shower coffee shower convectional rainfalls in the month of april and may okay any friends i have more or less finished the local winds sea breeze land breeze mountain breeze valley breeze local winds allu even in west bengal also kal baishaki heavy rainfall occurs in the month of may this is kal baishaki kal baishaki is the season before the monsoon when there is thunderstorms heavy rainfall convectional rainfall convectional rainfall okay friends am i going fast or okay for you is okay right i want to go fast right if you cannot make notes just write the important terms after going to the room sit for 20 minutes make the detailed notes okay